Also on gallery, his career as a painter has produced him about 100 works over the years. Now, he's been able to create an identity for himself after being commissioned to paint the portrait of the Queen of the United Kingdom, he Nigerianalyzed the portrait with black hair, which is a signature painting. Now, Alexis Gallery celebrates Oluwole Omofebi. My name is Olu Olio Mofemi, 34 years of age. I live and work in Ibadan. And I majored in painting, where oil and acrylic is my preferred medium of expression. And uh, basically, I paint figures, black people. And my art is centered around uh, identity, black beauty, hair fashion and the redefinition of a black woman. Born in Ibado, Nigeria, Omar Femi shared his early life with his grandfather who had a major influence on him and later grew up to become an artist with keen interest in female hairdo. Art is just, to me, is a connection between you and the spiritual realm, so that's how I see art, yeah. I think one of the things that differentiates me from uh, the other artists is being true to myself as an artist. I think that's one of the most important things to me that has really helped me so far. I'm honest to myself. I paint what I feel, what I think is right to myself, so that has always been there. And one of the things that has given me a kind of identity over the years has been the way that I portray the black woman and the way that I paint the hair, which is a little bit different from the way other artists do. So these are part of the thing that create a kind of identity for me as an artist. Yes, that has always been my way to tell um, how I see a black woman because I have had, I've, I've had this question a lot of time when people will ask me why do you paint black people and I tell them because I'm black so I think I'm just trying to replicate who I am in my canvas so that has always been part of me. A lot of things inspires me in my environment because I grew up in the interior part of Ibadan, Ikote do precisely. You gotta see a lot of things, you gotta fight every day to survive. You know, so a lot of things in my environment actually added to my what I am today. So basically I get my inspiration from my immediate environment. The first thing for me is uh, the passion is the first thing because the other thing will come in, but the first thing that led to the motivation of creating works and other things and even putting more of your uh, energy into that is that to come with the passion because I have to love what I'm doing. If I don't love what I'm doing, how, how will I be able to put in more strength? How would I be able to infuse my passion? So I think one of the things for me, the first thing is the passion, you know, as an artist. So passion is there from when I was young and from the story that I had from my family is to create some artworks and, you know, and my parents wanted me to do something else. 
which was totally different from what I wanted. You know, I grew up with my grandfather who taught me many things about life, who guided me to understand the basics about life. So, that's it. One of the things, uh, I think a lot of artists from Nigeria is going to do well. And because, because of the kind of recognition that we are getting globally now as, as an artist, as a Nigerian, I think this thing that has happened, this thing that has evolved around me in the past few years, has really a kind of high hope now to collect us, to come into Nigeria and see art as an investment, you know. I think in Nigeria now we are getting what we deserve now. In those days, it's very hard to command prizes at the auction. And from what has happened to me around that has evolved around me the past two, three years, it has given a lot of people who has lost open heart. It has given a lot of people a new leaf, something to hope for as an artist. So I think a lot of younger artists now, and even the older artists now, are even proud, you know, to be an artist. But if, some, if God can pick someone like me from the interior part of Ibadan, from Ibadan to Lagos, from Lagos to U.S., from U.S. to London, you know, to the extent that I was commissioned to paint the portrait of Queen Elizabeth. That's huge for me, for my family and for Nigeria entirely. So I'm happy about all these things. Following his impressive auction sales records, he was recently commissioned to paint the portrait of Her Majesty the Queen by Tatla magazine for the commemorative July issue in celebration of the Platinum Jubilee. The painting was on view in the Sotheby's London Galleries through 15th of June as part of the Sotheby's Jubilee exhibition of royal portraiture and iconography. shows that not every artist can be a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. You know, this artist came from Ibadan, it's not, um, it's not somebody who shows himself too much, you know, and it also shows that every generation produces her queen, king, princess and princesses, is the prince of this generation. Celebrating Olu Olia Mofemi, who is an artist who has actually opened the door for a lot of artists and young people to see hope in art and to see that art is not something that you can just push away, it's a career that's worth going into. We know what Mofemi has done recently. For example, he was just commissioned to paint the portrait of the Queen of England, right? And the work was on display at Sotheby's until June 15. He came back from England some weeks ago after he was even invited into Buckingham Palace. So he met with the Queen, met with the Prince, and that's why we're celebrating. He has done a lot, he has had an incredible auction records, and he's actually doing things that are worth celebrating, so why not him? My name is Ebenezer Akeola. I am an artist. Well, I am is, uh, what do I, what's the word? I'm trying, looking for the best word to use. Mentor, yeah, I met him 2012, I think. He called me, he said, please now, you know, so it's been, the rest is history now. So many things. One thing is uh, the talent, the understanding of what he's doing, because that's, you know, there's a different thing there. It's, what that's one thing I found that a lot of artists have talents, but do you really understand what this profession is all about, like any other profession? Which is what, before I believed, we were not able to really do. Maybe the opportunities were not there, but he was able to take. And one thing, you know, one thing I like about Wale, before Wale became what he is now, there is this thing he used to say, we say, impossibility is nothing. If you go to his, I think he still uses that now, so it's not, you know. And uh, so many things. He, he, he is uh, humble, he is hardworking, and more importantly, is that that I've said he understands 
the opportunity that came and he was able to take. Because I see some matters that you have opportunity, but can you really take charge of the opportunity? Today on Living Art, two Nigerian fashion powerhouses, African Fashion Week Nigeria and Lagos Fashion Fair, combine forces to host their events at the prestigious Echo Hotel and Suites. Now, it seeks to celebrate Nigerian entrepreneurs who have mastered the art of fashion by using it to make bold statements and create more visibility in their designs and brands. Let's go there. 